Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about how much does it cost to have a cat. We received many questions from you guys asking us how much does it cost to feed a cat, how much do ragdoll cats cost, so we thought we'll answer this in this video. We will split this video into three parts, so the initial cost of um, getting a cat and all of the essentials that come with it. Uh, the second part will be their monthly running costs, so any costs associated with um, having a cat at home. And the third section will be just extra costs that you may come across. So the initial cost of a cat will range from anything like £70 when you're adopting a cat from RSPCA or any other place um, to even £1,000 depending on the breed. Uh, ragdolls typically cost between £500 and £600. The cost will depend on the fact if the cats were neutered, microchipped um, and had their all vaccinations um, and also a little bit on the quality of the cat. So if it is just a pet cat or if it's a show quality kitten. Our cats are obviously just pet cats and this is what we wanted so there is nothing wrong with that. Um, their show quality cats may just have better markings, markings that are considered better for showing but obviously that's not important for many pet owners. Our kittens were at the higher end of this price range, so they were £600 each. But this also included the microchipping, neutering and vaccinations. So our breeders took care of all of these things, which is very convenient, especially for first time pet owners. So neutering can cost between about £30 to £60, depending on if it's uh, castrating or spaying. So male or female cats, uh, males are typically less expensive. Microchipping costs between 20 and 25 pounds and then the initial vaccinations are about 50 pounds. Additionally, you need to consider how you're going to get your kitten home. If you are driving to pick up your kitten yourself, that will be just the price of the fuel, which is kind of a secondary cost. Uh, but some people need to use a courier and get their kitten sent to them, which we would definitely advise to go and get them yourself so you can meet the breeders and see the kitten beforehand as well. Also, another thing you need to do as soon as possible is to take your kitty to the vet for an initial health check. This can cost between 20 and 30 pounds. But obviously that's not everything. In preparation for a kitten, you need to get so many things. We do have a video on all of the essentials that you might need. We'll link this video up here for you to watch. The most important things are the cat carrier. You need something to transport the cat in. Um, it's definitely better to get a real carrier rather than having a kitty on your lap. It can be quite dangerous. You don't know what's going to happen on the road. So it's better to be safe. A litter box or a few of them, depending on how many kittens you have in your house and how big is your home as well. You need litter and scoops and we do have a little dustbin and brush just behind it as well for just a quick clean up. You will of course need cat toys. You can spend as little as £5 and your cat will have the time of their life but you can also spend as much as £50 for more expensive interactive toys. A very important thing to get is cat brushes. You definitely want to have them from the beginning so you can get your cats used to brushing. We have a catted grooming kit so that comes with four brushes and nail clippers. It's definitely very useful. Um, but you can also start with just one brush and get single ones off Amazon. As we all know, cats love scratching. That's something that can put potential cat owners off of getting a cat. So it's so important to have scratches in your home before your kitties arrive. We got a few of horizontal scratches, just the cardboard ones, and obviously our beautiful cat tree. So this was enough to stop them from scratching any furniture. Cost of a cat tree can vary greatly. You can get them for as little as 50 pounds in your local pet shop, but they won't last you as long and the cats might not use it because it won't be stable enough. Our cat tree was quite expensive, it was £360, but we're definitely very happy with our toys because it still looks just as new. The cats love sleeping on it and scratching on the scratching posts. The best thing you can do is get the most expensive cat tree that you can afford. It's probably better to get a simple scratching post that will be stable, long and thick rather than getting a cat tree with loads of different levels that won't be stable. But what about a cat bed? 
There are so many pretty ones and you might be tempted to get one for your little kitten. But the best thing you can actually do is get a cardboard box, cut a hole in it and put the little blanket inside of it. Your kitty will absolutely love this hideout. If you are going to visit your kittens beforehand, it's a good idea to take the blanket with you and ask the breeders if you can leave it there. That way it will smell familiar and it will have their mum's scent on it. The prices on the screen are based on our expenses. So all of the essentials came to about £220 plus the cost of the cat tree. This brings us to the second section of this video which is the monthly cost of owning a cat. The list here isn't as long. So you definitely need food. Um, our cats are on a raw diet and as you may know we make our food ourselves. So it works at about 10 to 12 pounds per month per cat, which is not that much, but it will definitely depend on what diet you choose for your kitten. Next, it's cat litter. For us it's 15 pounds a month, which is one big bag of the Breeder Select cat litter. And another thing is insurance. You may choose not to pay insurance or you may pay subscription to your local vet. We have a monthly subscription with Agria, it's about £10 per month per cat and they are absolutely amazing. We did have to uh, make a claim before with uh, Pixie's eye infection. It was very easy and very quick. The cost of your insurance will depend on the breed of the cat and the question will be if it is indoors, outdoors, if it's microchipped and everything like that. We also add toys and treats to the monthly cost. You may not buy them every single month, but it will work out around five pounds per month, I would say, for all of our Cosmos Nuggies and the little toy here and there. So in total, we have around 40 pounds per month for the running costs of owning a cat. The third section is all of the miscellaneous and extra costs. You might want to include the um, yearly boosters for vaccination of your cat which is around £50 per year. Um, an extra cost may include flea treatments or warming and that is around £5 to £15, pounds. but you would do that as and when needed. You may incur extra charges if you do need to take your cat to the vet. A vet visit is typically around £40, pounds, so that will just depend on how many times you need to take them there. Based on our personal experience, we would add around £150 pounds to the yearly budget. As you can see, there is a little bit of variation in these prices and costs. So the cost of owning a cat will depend on your personal budget and how much money you have at your disposal. But it's worth keeping in mind that you need to provide your cat with five worth of needs. These are health, you need to make sure that you can maintain and treat your cat if it does become ill. Behavioural stimulation, you have to have time to play with your cat. Companionship. Um, some animals do live in groups and fractals are very social animals so if you can consider getting a pair. Diet, make sure that you feed species appropriate diet. And the last one is environment. You need to make sure that you can provide your cat with safe environment, places to sleep, places to hide and places to explore. Based on our personal experience, the initial cost of two Ragdoll kittens with all of the essentials was around £1,800. Our monthly expenses are £40 per cat and a yearly expense for two cats is around £1,260. You may think that's a lot, but we don't think you can put the price on this little furball. And the unconditional love you get back it's just priceless. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we answered at least some of your questions and we'll see you soon in the next one. The cost of neutering, so spaying or what is the other word? Cutting balls. <laughs> 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 <laughs>